Hey folks, David Stewart here. Time for a quick recipe using this stuff, which I love. This is Kodiak Cakes Power Cakes Pancake Mix. I get this stuff from Costco and uh, it's got extra protein in it. Really, really good way to have generally okay nutrition. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make some cinnamon biscuits with this. When everything's done, the entire recipe will run about 1,200 calories, which means each little biscuit, depending on how many you make, either four or six, will be either 200 or 300 calories with about 11 or 15 grams worth of protein, which is generally okay nutrition. By the way, they do have gluten-free variety as well if you are a person who needs to avoid wheat. So let's jump into the recipe. Very, very simple as far as ingredients go. This is a short cake biscuit. Um, milk, butter, three tablespoons of butter, half cup of milk, uh, two cups of the pancake mix, and sugar, whatever sugar substitute you want to use. We're using some sugar substitutes today because I am trying to cut the calories and also cut the sugar. If you can avoid sugar, I think it's a good thing. And you're also going to need some cinnamon if you want to make this specific recipe, but the cinnamon is optional. I think the cinnamon makes it taste really good. So let's jump into it. First thing you have to do is melt the three tablespoons of butter. Okay, now that the butter's melted, we're going to do three tablespoons of whatever kind of sugar you want. I'm going to do two of this Trivia Sweet Complete and one tablespoon of Splenda. Splenda is very low mass. It's very light, and so it doesn't mix all that well. I don't like to do nothing but Splenda. So I like to do two of those and one Splenda, and that usually comes up with a pretty good little mix here. And here's the Splenda. Incidentally, you can use monk fruit sweetener for this. It will have a little bit of a different flavor. Just mix it up with a spoon or a whisk. This is kind of like creaming the butter and sugar together. It's gonna get into this kind of real fluffy, sugary kind of mixture, and that's how I like to do it to start. And at this step, we can also add some vanilla, and we can even add some cinnamon if we want to. Now, I like these to be pretty cinnamony, so I'm going to add a whole uh, teaspoon of cinnamon, not rounded, but flattened, and that'll be plenty of cinnamon for uh, the inside, and then I'm actually going to put cinnamon sugar on the outside as well, and I'll do that in just a second. I'm also going to add a little bit of vanilla to the mixture for a little bit of vanilla flavor. It's starting to look like something you wouldn't feed your dog, so let's go ahead and add a half a cup of nonfat milk. You can also use almond milk or whatever milk substitute you like. Oh my gosh, and it's gonna look like something a medieval peasant would eat. Gross, but once we add the pancake mix, it'll start to look really good. So it's two cups of pancake mix. We're gonna do one cup at a time so that it mixes good. Uh, I'm gonna use my handy protein scooper, which is actually uh, a third of a cup. So we'll put three of those in to start. Uh, you can also add even more protein if you want. You can maybe sub in um, like a scoop of protein powder if you want it to be even higher in protein. Um, just be aware that it's not gonna have quite the same consistency and texture if you add in um, some whey or casein protein powder. Then you start to mix it up, it starts to look a little bit more like a cake batter mix. And once we add that other cup, it's gonna get really thick. It's gonna turn into a really thick dough. So I put in another two thirds of a cup and if the dough gets to the thickness that I want with two thirds of a cup, I may leave it there. Um, but if it's not quite dry enough with that two thirds of a cup, then we'll go ahead and add one more cup of the mix to this to get it to that nice, thick, soft dough that we want for a biscuit-like texture here. It's starting to get dry. I may add a little bit more dry mix. So it'll be just shy of two cups. Um, which is okay, that drops the calorie content down just a little bit, uh, which in my book is okay because I'm mostly trying to not have too many calories while having decent nutrition. All right, another half a scoop to mix this up. Once it gets to a really good dough texture, you may have to like squish it up with your hands. That's like the end goal there is to get it really um, pretty dough-like, almost like pizza dough. And that's how you know you're, you're probably doing it right. Just cut it up with the spoon and get it really mixed up here. And we'll do the last bit of this by squishing it up with our hands. 
and get that nice doughy texture, almost like, yeah, it's, a, it's not quite like, it's not as doughy as pizza dough, but it's pretty doughy, and that's how you want it. It's gonna make some really good cinnamon biscuits. And before I put these on a baking sheet, I actually wanna roll them in some cinnamon sugar just to get them really sweet and have more of that snickerdoodle-like flavor. This is actually made with uh, this right here, which is a sugar blend. It has some sugar in it, and it has some, um, basically stevia or erythritol. You don't wanna have pure like Truvia or Stevia stuff because um, that will actually smoke in the oven a little bit and there will be some smoking if you use a mixture, but having a little bit of real sugar, I think helps that. I just put it in the bowl and uh, you know roll the things around in that and then sprinkle this on top and it's pretty good for the cinnamon flavor. We wanna divide this up into about uh, either four or six equal parts, depending on how big you want your biscuits. Um, I like mine to be a little bit smaller because my kids um, like to eat these, and so I'm constantly sharing them. Well, I'm end up with five. Five is good. We'll just divide 1200 by five, you get, you know, about, you know, 200 and 30, 240 calories per biscuit. It's all pretty relative. Um, once I get it kind of, you just roll it in a ball like a snickerdoodle, and you can roll it around in the cinnamon sugar and sprinkle some of that cinnamon sugar on there, and you're gonna get uh, a pretty good little biscuit. All right, now that we've got our rolled biscuits, uh, put gingerly in the cinnamon sugar mixture using substitute sugar. We're gonna squish them flat and bake them at 425 degrees for 11 minutes. And what I like to do is as I squish them flat on this insulated cookie sheet, which is what I recommend, they look like big old snickerdoodle cookies and boy, are they gonna taste good. I like to put a little bit extra of this on the top just for, again, a little bit more of that cinnamon sugar flavor. I'll put a little bit on top. If you put too much, you may end up with like, it's smoking a little bit in the oven, but it's probably no big deal. So anyway, let's go ahead and put them in the oven for 11 minutes at 425 degrees. All right, and they go into the oven, 425 degrees for about 11, 12 minutes until they're, until they're cooked. All right, and here they are, fully done, warm and soft and kind of dense. Feel very hearty when you eat them, so have a great day, and I'll see you all next time.